we are back with fidget toys from Shein. I know many of you love the mystery fidget toy unboxings, and I also really appreciate that so many of you were telling me to be careful of Shein. I hope I'm saying it right, so many of you were also correcting me. If you're curious about all the information that the grains shared with me about the company and the kind of fashion that they employ, I will link the video in the description box. But for now, these are items that I already purchased from previously, and I will not be purchasing from them again. In previous videos, we've done everything from fidget toy mystery boxes, fidget toy calendars, and many more. With that said, we have 11 different unique and weird fidget toys, seven of them from Shein, and four of them from Five Below. Yes, under five dollars. So as always, we will be ranking the fidget toys, cause... <laughs> As someone with ADHD, I do like the, the finicking, the, the finicking and the fidgeting. Just like this. If you like dark epic fantasy games, you're going to love Raid Shadow Legends even more now because they just added one of the strongest support champions, Deliana. And yes, you can get Deliana for free with the Deliana Chase event. All you have to do is log into Raid and you'll get Deliana for free, that's it. So make sure you use the code MYDELIANA to get some amazing perks as a new player and the new summer event for the summer solstice, Path of Light. There will be new awesome champions and skins for the amazing Trunda Guilt Mallet. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below or conveniently for you a QR code and you'll be getting all of these epic rewards well over $30 worth. Thank you Raid for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. Let's start with the ones from Shein. And for those of you who don't know that shop, again not sponsored, not affiliated, it has been made really popular and viral because of TikTok. And in this Shein haul we have a galaxy fidget poppet, a poppet ball with an animal face, and I think the nose is supposed to come off. And then we have something called a mokuru, and I think it's supposed to be just twirly on the table. I don't know. We're gonna find out together. And then it's funny, because these next ones are said to be for men. I don't make the rules, but it's for men. We have a slot fidget toy. I love pulling levers. If this actually works and it moves, oh my heart is gonna be so happy. And then we have a gearbox, which I guess I understand car and guys, yeah, look at me, I'm a guy, I like cars, nobody else likes cars. And then we have something that looks like a heart, but I'm kind of starting to think it's not supposed to be a heart. Maybe, uh... Then a spring looking thing. And then the ones for under $5, we have a porcupine, a porcupine. Now I know some of these things have an age restriction, but we have discussed in a previous video fidget pillows, which are great for physiotherapy and for anyone who wants to fidget. So there are no ages here, okay? These are good for anyone who wants to fidget. So the porcupine really has my heart. I'm so curious about it. And then of course, in every video, we must, when it comes to fidget toys, explore balls. It's not me, okay? I don't make the rules, but apparently we have an atomic fidget ball, an atomic needle ball, and then a squish and play mat. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these do you have the most hope on and which one do you have the least hope on? I'm going to say I have the least hope on the, uh, and probably the most hope on the atomic fidget ball and maybe even the slot machine thing. Oh, and while you're writing your comments down, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We are a weird, wacky bunch of little grains of salt in the salt shaker family. Got all notifications while you're there. Please note, all threats are fake. All right, so let's just move. Over there. And let's go ahead and start off with the one I have the least hope on. The, uh... <laughs> so this is supposed to be a keychain, and I have a feeling it's just basically a keychain mochi in the shape of a heart. What did you think it was? You got her brain. So let's go ahead with first impressions and oh, 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 that is more satisfying than a mochi. All oh, this heart shape squishy is very nice. 
Look at that. You can even have double squishy side. Okay, I take this back. It's not sticky. It's not powdery. Well, not too much. There's a smidgen of powder, but it's, it's actually really nice. It has a good feeling. Why do I like this? This is wrong on so many levels. So many levels. But let's see the smack. Okay, there's no jiggle here. If we bring it closer, no jiggle whatsoever. Not like the bear fidget toy we had that really did a good jiggle. Uh-uh. This one got no jiggle. But it does have a nice squishiness to it. It's okay. Hmm. I'm gonna give this uh, five and a half. Now we have the pop it ball. In a previous video, when I tried this for the first time, I got goosebumps. I fell in love with it and Pat stole it from me. So here's hoping for a second one. And if we look at the posting here, it's called One Piece Random Bear Design Fidget Toy Charm Keychain at $7. And yes, this one comes in the form of a keychain. You can't choose your color, it's just random. Look at that, look, 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 the nose pops off. You see that? That's interesting. So as everything with Sheen Shyan, I know many of you have said it's just Sheen. So it's basically, I'm gonna mess up the name and I know I'm gonna get corrected again, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, it's okay. Let your frustrations out in the comment section, that's okay. So at $7, this best be as good as the previous one. And here's what it looks like. It's a swirly colored one, the same as a normal poppet ball. I'm really curious about this one here. Let's just squeeze to see if the mouth comes off. <gasps> oh! It goes back in. <gasps> I get it. Okay. What the heck happened here? Okay, let's just start pushing those little... What happened here? Are you okay, bro? All right, let... Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Why is this trash? Hang on. Let's try again. Okay, full form. Let's push the little poppets. Oh, this is too soft. The body is way too soft. Oh, my God. Let's push as many as we can. It does have a nice pushback sound. Pretty impressive, and squeeze. Oh, satisfactory as always. So at least we know from the back it's okay. The back is good, now let's try the front. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Get your minds out of the gutter. Let's go ahead and, oh no. Yeah, it's way too soft over here. So I'm not even putting any pressure. I just wanna push this little poppet. And the whole section on the front caves in. So we would have to push it in like this. Push it in like that. Oh, what a mess. It's like half the pop it is okay, and the other half is not. It was a good concept. The idea was really good. Oh, you disappoint me. Because this part is too soft, everything just kind of caves in, and the poppets won't stay. I had such high hopes for this. Unfortunately for this bear character, oh my god, I'm gonna give it a 2 on 10. It had such high potential, but it just keeps caving in. I mean, half of it is usable, kind of-ish. Oh, 1 on 10. You get one point for the effort. That's it. And now, the fidget machine. The ad does call it Men Mini Fruit Machine Keychain, and it basically looks like any other machine that you can pull and change the actual things on the front. And what makes me think that it is in fact changeable is because from one image we can see that there are three different line th things in the line. You can tell I don't play these things. Three different symbols. Next image, we can see one with like bar on top. So something tells me that it should be able to be pulled down and change it. But we gotta open it to find out. All right, and oh, that moved. Did it or is it me? Oh, it's me. I thought it moved. <laughs> Let's see if that actually does anything. <gasps> Oh no, oh no, oh I got goosebumps, yes. No way, that is cute. And it changes every single time. Listen to the sound. Can we get lucky number sevens? Oh, look, we got bars. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did anyone else used to sing that? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Is that a thing? Okay, it is. In gaming, it's a thing. Okay, I just hear things from TV, but apparently, okay, I, I got this. 
Other than that, there's not much going on. This is a sticker. It's not an actual slot. So it's not like you can put a mini coin or anything inside, you know, kind of like a, a coin purse per se. It really is just moving it like that. It's definitely a cute, mindless kind of game to fidget with, but I, I just don't see the full appeal of it. I don't know. There's something definitely missing with this. Can you do it with one hand? Yeah. You have to have really big hands though. It's okay. Uh, I'll give it a six. All right, you know what? We've had some mediocre things from Sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and say at this time, they're probably not a good source of fidget toys. Just saying. So let's go ahead with the Atomic Fidget Ball. And on this one, it does say that it is a Icosa. I don't know what Icosa, Icosa, Icosa? Icosa don't know anything. Get it? Cause it's a cause I don't know anything. You get it? Cause Icosa don't know anything. Stop it. Get some help. And apparently we can twist, turn, and fidget. The back only shows us the contents, rules to play, twist and turn your way into a multitude of patterns. Okay, so basically we can twist it however way we want. That's something we're gonna be testing to the limit. Apparently there are rules inside? Rules? Why are there rules? If it's a fidget toy, there should be no rules. Oh, that's, that's the rule. <laughs> I, I was ready to open up a whole rule book, but okay, I can do that. Oh, okay, so it's, it's not really rules. It's kind of like, hey, let's make some goals. Just call them goals, not rules. So you can have no same color touching balls. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> Two each of the same touching and then one not touching. Are they sure this is a game? They're not positions. <laughs> I'm done, I'm okay now. It's out of my system. It's out of my system now, okay? I'm good now. Three of each touching, okay? Three of each of the same touching in a triangle. So they aren't rules, they're goals. If you want to fidget with a purpose. Okay, how do we, how do you feel? Oh, oh, what's on the inside? <gasps> okay, I see you. Well, these two are stuck. Is that on purpose? Okay, okay. So there are a couple of them that are stuck to each other, like these two over here, and then these two over here are stuck. What else? And these two. And then we have single... Do we not have singles? Okay, we... No. They're all stuck to each other. I get it. So they move in groups of two. The sound is pretty satisfying. You can twist it and move it around and you can pull it. I guess, kind of feel like marbles. It's okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, let's try with a purpose. Let's make the triangle colors. So we would twist it like that, which black is separate. Oh, it's that one. Okay, so we can twist that one. There's another triangle. We need to move the reds like a so. There we go. So we made our little triangle thing. You know what? The goals do help. A little on the easy side, but Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to say that this isn't okay for me. It's not that expensive at $5. I got it from Five Below, which is a store in the US. But yeah, it's it's okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Seven on ten. It's interesting. So far, the majority of the fidget toys that we've worked with have given us one-time goosebumps, and then they were like, meh. So I'm wondering if there's anything that's going to give us actually something interesting. So I think now it is time to bring on Fidget Friend, the hedgehog. And this is apparently a learning resource that is supposed to help sensory and fine motor skills. Again, I do believe in a lot of physiotherapy can be used with many of these different fidget and sensory toys. And if we look at the back of the box, it doesn't really provide us with much else information. But I have to say, I'm really excited to see what this is going to be like for under $5. I don't know if it's always under five dollars but i dropped it you saw nothing but usually five below are things that you get on discount so it may or may not be there anymore so here is spike why do i keep dropping this what's wrong <laughs> oh it better not be heavy it's not heavy Okay, very, very light plastic. Very rattly. 
Okay, we got you here, Spike the Hedgehog. But apparently we have a learning resource guide, so... Who has time to read this? What am I gonna... What is this? Oh, these are different languages. What are you for? What are you teaching me? New way to keep hands and minds busy, okay? Eh. We don't need it. And Spike is absolutely adorable. I can already see some of these buttons and twirly things that are going to be exciting. Are any of them actually satisfactory? Are we going to get any clicks, any twists, any turns? Let's start with the most obvious one, which is the one on top. Is that a pushy? No. Is you attorney? What are you? Oh, you're a pumpy. Kind of obnoxious, but not in a good way. And for those of you who haven't seen me play around with fidget pillows, this is basically what they look like, as you can see on the screen here. So if you're curious if these are any good, I will link them down below. Yeah, but this... Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that is harsh. Okay, next. Okay, this I can get behind. I like that. This one is, okay, twisty. You can see the arrows. Oh, yes. That's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. Okay, so this is, oh, okay, it can go back and forth, so. Very nice. And then we have another lever. What do you do? Oh, just up and down. I don't know what it is about this plastic. It's very annoying, but again, not in the fun way. Meh. You? Okay. You just do the twirly twirly. Do you get to, do I get to pull you? Do I get to pull you? No. Okay, so I don't get to pull any of these. This one's kind of like old school phones. You just twirl it. All right, let me dial a number. Hello, is this the fidget toy police? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you know there's terrible ones out there? Mm. Okay. Is there anything else I can know? Thank you. Goodbye. So apparently it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a click? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate this. The clicking on this is just so unseamless. This one has a nicer click on the way down, but it does a double click. And then one dumb click on top. <laughs> We're now categorizing clicks as dumb. See? It's so weird. Oh, Spike the Hedgehog. I do not like you. I thought this was going to be the saving grace of today's video, but so far we do not have a winner. Ugh. Even for little ones, I would have to say I'm going to give this uh, a five and a half on ten. Let's go with something that has confidence. The amazing desktop toy. If it calls itself amazing, it can't be bad, right? Right? Yeah. Now, I don't remember how much I paid for this, nor where I got it from. I just remember it being in the box. <laughs> I really don't remember. Okay. Oh, is that that toy? Oh no, it's broken. <laughs> amazing my butt! Oh no. That's supposed to go right there. We are not starting off well. So I think this is supposed to be a fidget toy that rolls on your desk, I think. There's no instruction. When did I get you? Let's push you a little harder. Whoa! Okay, we need, we definitely need a good push. All right, so we're gonna start over here and give it a good push. Let's give it a, a, an even better push. That was too aggressive. <laughs> How do I do this? No. Is this off balance? Oh! We got three walkies. Bruh. Alright, let me, let me check online how to use this thing. So I found a video on YouTube and it's actually pretty old. It's about five years old and it doesn't seem it's supposed to be a non-stop kind of like a slinky. It's just a couple of spinnies and you grab it. So we're going to try that. We're going to try it and we're not supposed to push it from the side as I have done aggressively. But it seems like we're pushing it from the top. Aha. Uh -huh. Very obnoxious though. Oh gosh. And I guess the goal is to kind of just twist it. Well. Make it move, like so, and then catch it, like that. It's very noisy, it's not exactly or particularly interesting to bring to the office or to your class. And other than that, there's really no purpose to it unless you're just gonna move a stick around. I, I just, I don't get it, I don't see it. 
It's too noisy. Let's try on the felt. All right, felt. It's your time to shine now, okay? Let's try you on a on a quieter surface. Nope. Oh, that was that was painful. So it needs a hard a hard obnoxious surface. Yeah, I I, I Four on ten. And the reason I'm giving it a four on ten is because, yeah, there's this fidget aspect to it, but I just don't see it being satisfying. Yes, it's a skill, but mm, just, again, something is missing. It doesn't have that flippability that can make it keep going on. You really have to catch it quickly, so it's not mindless. So that's that's my reason. <laughs> Sensory mat. Now this one, if it looks familiar, is because I was technically supposed to do it in a previous video. But I totally forgot because I was, I think I was pretty angry in that previous video. Oh, that is, that is way bigger than I expected. Okay. Oh, there they are. On the box, it showed like there was a musical note. So we have the musical note over here. There should be a couple of other shapes. I just don't see it. Hello? Okay, there it is. We have the moon, we have a triangle and the musical note. We have the space. Let's go ahead and fill the space. It takes a lot of pressure. Oh my god. Oh, that is hurting already. So if you do have any kind of chronic pain or chronic conditions like I do, having to press hard is not good. Okay, once we loosen them, they're fine. Let me just loosen them with both hands. Well, that sounded gross. Okay, so here is the pushing. No, I mean, it's not me. I'm not the salty one. More than usual is what I'm trying to say. These fidget toys today are probably still one of the worst I've had in a long time. Yeah, you need to press pretty hard. There's probably not enough liquid in there to make it smoothly kind of go around. That's why it was on discount because there's just not enough liquid in here. Let's try to bring the musical note over here, okay? Oh no, oh no, oh. Yeah, that is painful. It's not me. I'm usually salty, but not saltier than usual. <sighs> Three on 10. Cause it does feel nice this way, but then when put on a surface, there's just not enough liquid to make it glide. So yeah. Three on 10. All right, let's go ahead and try the Atomic Nido. I feel like we've tried one of these before in a previous unboxings, but I don't think we've tried this one cause this one's atomic, apparently. Not sure what the difference is, but okay. I feel like it's just going to be one of those regular types of fidget balls where all we have to do is squeeze and then they just come out of the yep yeah, that's oh with different colors okay is there anything in there no i think it's just the stretch yep it's just the stretch and it requires a lot of strength and uh yeah it's not satisfactory at all it's not like there's any kind of sand or anything on the inside to give it some texture or playability yeah it's just it stretches so it makes it a paler color Three on ten. All right, here's another spring thing from Sheen, and also for men. I don't know why, but this one is called a shock absorber charm, and it just looks like a spring. I'm guessing it's kind of like the spring on any kind of pen or clickable pencil or anything like that. That's my guess. It's a shock absorber at seven dollars. That ain't cheap. And here it is. And what do I do? Oh no. Oh, that is painful. That is pointy tip. Oh. Pointy tip over here, which leaves a dent, and pointy tip over here, which will leave another dent. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that is painful. It'll just leave dents everywhere. Oh my god. Zero. Zero on ten. Let's try the galaxy to pop it. I have a bad feeling about this because I just realized. that the thickness of the actual plastic is not enough for me to actually pop it on the desk. You could do this, but it won't go around. You have to actually have to hold it and push all the way. So ultimately, you constantly have to hold it. It's not one of those poppets that you could just leave on the desk. Is it pretty? Absolutely. Look at Earth. Earth is just vibing. Very cute. Wait, I just realized the planets are not in order, right? If this is Earth, this is Venus, this is Mercury. They didn't include Pluto. I know Pluto has been removed and put back into the list. Have they removed it again? Have they? Nine planets. Yeah, nine planets. Let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why am I fixating on these things? You can't pop it. You could just go up and down. Oh, that is hard. 
Yeah, we really needed to have this a lot thicker so that when you push all the way through, you have that space. See what I mean? At least it's rotating. Weird sound. I mean, it does sound nice. But in terms of satisfactory level overall, five on 10. We have the last one, the last one here. Also from the men's section. Do men not like to fidget? Holy carp. Oh gosh. And this here is supposed to be a gearbox. It has a nice weight to it, I have to admit. And you basically bring this part to different segments. Oh, it's not as smooth. Oh, that hurts my teeth. Oh, that is weird. Oh, I felt weird. Is that normal? Okay, let's try this again. Let's start here. Oh, the scratching. Zero on 10. I hate these so much. Let me know which one you hate the most. And if you think I've been too salty. If you want to watch the previous Sheen Fidget Toy unboxing, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something less salty, less angry, check out some real littles right over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.